Hello students, today we will do one of the other poem from class 12 CBSE that is Aunt Jennifer's Tigers by Adrienne Rich. So firstly, I will tell you about poet Adrienne Rich. So she is from USA and she became from, uh, famous for her feminist ideas because she, in her poems, she presented fem feminist ideas, like in this poem also, that is uh, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers, she also presented about how women face oppression and uh, they feel that they are oppressed by in a male dominated society that is in a patriarchal society. So let's, discuss the introduction of the poem that it talks about what constraints married women face because of some laws and customs which were um, imposed on her being married by males, by her husbands. And that's why she feels suffocated as if somebody has put constraints on her freedom. So we can say that this poem deals with plight of women in a male dominated world where they feel tortured, where they feel terrorized, where they feel that they were confined to homes and that too they were not allowed to do whatever they feel like. They need to follow certain laws and customs which were imposed on them. And then in order to get relief from all this domination from all this terror and from this torture, she seeks relief in her make-believe world. That is, she seeks uh, freedom in her imagination through a piece of art, through her imagination. And But the sorry part is that she is not able to get that free freedom even in her art, even in her imagination. So basically this poem deals with gender conflicts that how male rules the family and how they dominate over women. So this poem deals with, uh, you can say it's suppression or oppression or struggle or injust injustice meted out to upper middle class women in the name of marriage, in the name of matrimony. So uh, we can say this poem is a mystified tragedy. Mystified tragedy is, it is called mystified tragedy because nowhere in the poem it is directly expressed that what type of oppression Aunt Jennifer feels in the poem. That how she is tortured, how she is terrorized and what type of tragedy she feels. But all over the poem, male dominance or that how tortured or how physical and mental trauma she feels is portrayed but in what sense it is imposed on her it is not directly told it is not uh, explicitly told it is implied only it is not directly told so now if we talk about aunt jennifer as the title title says aunt jennifer's tiger so who is this aunt jennifer so the title Aunt Jennifer deals with, she is symbol of every woman who are suppressed, who are oppressed, who have to, uh, who are tortured, who are terrorized in this male dominant society or by their husbands on the name of martial or matrimony customs and laws which were imposed on them. So it deals with Aunt Jennifer stands for entire female world. So in order to get rid of this uh, torture, this terror, she seeks freedom in her imaginative work, in her work of art. But it is really very heartrending to note that through her work of art and that too in her imagination, she is not able to seek freedom. Over there also, she could see, she could see and feel male dominance in a private space too. She feels trapped. She feels suffocated in her abusive married life. So if we talk about title, Aunt Jennifer's Tigers. So here, this is Aunt Jennifer's Tigers. As I have told you that Aunt Jennifer stands for all women who are, 
who are oppressed or who are terrorized by their overpowering husband, such women seek freedom in their imaginative work or in their work of art. Here also, Aunt Jennifer wants to seek her freedom through tapestry, which she makes by wool, by embroidery it, it, it with uh, ivory needle. She, she creates prancing, ferocious, and fearless tigers on this tapestry. So tapestry is a, a textile that is used as a wall hanging. It is a thick fiber, thick fabric with, on which some drawing is done or some embroidery is done, and it is used as wall hanging. So it's a tapestry made by Aunt Jennifer just to show that how male are terrorizing, how they are fearless, how they are dominating, how they are prancing the way tigers do. Through this tapestry, through this work of art, Aunt Jennifer too want to seek freedom like these tigers, but she's never able to attain that freedom because of male dominance, because of male chauvinism, because of patriotic society. So that these tigers, which are represented in this tapestry, they are ferocious, they are proud, they are fearless, and they are prancing. So this also, these tigers also represent terror, which is caused to Aunt Jennifer, or oppression, which is caused to Aunt Jennifer by her odd, overpowering husband, which is called as uncle here, because Jennifer is called aunt here and her husband is called uncle here. So now what's the theme of the poem? It deals with male chauvinism, that male dominates the family, male rules the family, and he dominates his women. He considers her to be her his possession. And so this deals with, this poem deals with gender conflicts, that how male are preferred, how they dominate, how they rule the society. So this poem is victimization of women by their male counterparts, by their husbands, like in this poem, Aunt Jennifer is overpart, is tortured, is victimized by her husband, who is called Uncle here. So this poem deals with avils of patriarchal system where male rules the family, where women are not given due freedom, where they have to lead a life of oppression, and they are terrorized. So they live a life of physical and mental trauma. This trauma or this physical and mental torture is caused to her by the customs and laws which were imposed on her on the name of matrimony, on the name of martial bond. So in order to seek relief, to get relief from all this dominance, all this torture, all this trauma, she seeks freedom in her imaginative work through her work of art. Now, there are various words in the poem used which are symbols of something. Like here, tiger is used more frequently. Even in the title also, tiger word is used. So tiger, which is ferocious, which is fearless, which is prancing, means which is moving with exaggerated steps. It is symbol of male chauvinism. It is symbol of how women are oppressed in this male dominated world, in this patriarchal society. So these tigers are even a uh, symbol of freedom, which women like Aunt Jennifer seek in order to get relief from trauma or from terror, which they seek from their over, which they get under their overpowering husbands. And then the word used is bright topaz. Bright topaz is a stone which is yellowish brown in color. And this bright topaz also stands for here skin or the body of the tiger, which is yellowish brown in color and which reflects brightly in the green background as tiger resides in forest. So its body shines over there because which shows his majesty, which shows his splendor, which shows his uh, fearlessness, his courage and fluttering wool. Uh, women are so much oppressed, they are in so much physical and mental trauma that they are not even able to handle soft things like wool. They are not able to use this ivory uh, needles which are used to pull threads out of threads from the fabric. 
So she is not able to deal with this ivory needle and even with the soft things like wool, which shows that how much physical and mental trauma, emotional trauma women feel in the hands of her overpowering husband in a male dominant society, in a patriarchal society. So this shows Aunt Jennifer being terrorized by uncle's domination. Here uncle is Aunt Jennifer's husband. So uncle's wedding band stands for that matrimonial ring or band which women wear after marriage, which shows that she got married. And due to this marriage, some of the customs and laws were imposed on her due to which she feels suffocated and she feels that she is leading life of servitude or slavery and bondage in this male dominance world, in this male dominant world and through her overpowering husbands. So here I end up with the introduction of the author of the poem, of the title and the symbols used and the theme of the poem. And so Aunt Jennifer Tigers deals with male dominance deals with patriarchal society, deals with male chauvinism, deals with oppression of women in the hands of overpowering husbands, then how such women seek freedom in their imaginative world through the work of art. So I hope the things must be clear to you people uh, about the introduction of the poo and about even its uh, author, its symbols, and many other things like theme which we discussed. So here I end up my today's lesson. And in my next video, we will be doing stanza-wise detailed explanation of this poem. And for the meanwhile, thank you and have a nice day.